welcome to part one of my spy guide. Uh, today we'll be covering the basics such as keybinds, UI, and some uh, basic movements. But uh, before we begin, I'd like to say that the spy is the most difficult class in the game with a, a skill floor that is much higher than any other class, as well as a skill clap that is rivaled only by the sniper. This means that the uh, spy requires a huge, huge amount of time spent practicing in order to be good, but uh, it uh, really has a jaw-dropping potential. <clears throat> Before we get into gameplay, you know, I'd like to cover some keybinds. Uh, I highly recommend that you spend, you know, at least 10 minutes looking at all these options on your own time, but uh, we'll cover some of the more important settings right now. Keep in mind that uh, most of these settings come down to a matter of what hardware you're using and uh, what your personal preference is. I, for one, have a Wolf King one-headed keyboard and a Microsoft Sidewinder mouse, so, you know, if these keybinds don't make sense to you, that's probably why. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. In the first section, keyboard, uh, we have a couple of settings that we're going to look at. Uh, duck, for example, default is control. Uh, you know, I find that that's a little hard to hit sometimes. Uh, my hand moves more to shift than anything. You know, personal preference, if you want it on F, if you want it on Q, if you want it on E, you know, it's up to you. <laughs> but, you know, keep in mind that it is a very, very important part of spy gameplay, and keep it where it's very easy to hit, where it's very natural to hit, yada yada. <clears throat> now, voice communication. Uh, you know, <laughs> Team Fortress is a team game. It requires teamwork, and voice communication is vital to teamwork, so this is a very important key. Um, put it on something easy. T is very easy for me to hit with my thumb. Sounds weird, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, keep it somewhere easy to hit. Now, we have Spy Last Disguise and Spy Toggle Disguise Team. Um, you know, those are very important keys for you to hit as a spy. Uh, B is very easy to hit. With the space bar, I think it's, or with my thumb rather, it's not too far from the space bar for standard two, I think, so you know, not a bad key. Um, my toggle disguise team is on F because when I hit four, my thumb naturally moves up to F for some reason, so you know, very easy for me to hit. Now, if we go down here to advanced, um, we are given the option to click fast weapon switch and enable developer console. A uh, fast weapon switch isn't really required, but it is as close to required as it gets. Um, you know, in the end, it's once you memorize your keys, it's just going to make it so you don't have to click that extra time. Um, developer console, I might keep it up because I'm recording demos and I'm playing demos. You know, that's that's not even has to do with gameplay at all. Now, uh, mouse, nothing really important in here, all personal preference. Uh, mouse sensitivity, reverse mouse, mouse acceleration, gamepad, whatever. Audio, personal preference, game volume and music volume or down lower. I like to listen to music. Uh, also, it lets me hear other people better because in voice, as you can see, I have my voice receive volume all the way up. Um, you know, I like to hear people because that's pretty important stuff. Um, voice is enabled, obviously. And, uh, yeah. In uh, video, resolution, whatever your native is, of course. Uh, aspect ratio, whatever feels comfortable. Display mode, once again, whatever you want. Now, in advanced, you have the setting for field of view. Now, Personally, I don't even understand why this is a setting. Uh, there's just no reason for you to have it at 90. If you had it at 75, you'd be seeing less. I don't understand why they'd have an option that lets you see less, because you're hindered more, and you're more vulnerable from the sides. So, that is uh, pretty much required to be at 90. Now, you know, all of the other options here, whatever you prefer, whatever's good for your system, yeah. Um, now in multiplayer, you have your crosshair, once again, personal preference, spray, of course that's personal preference, um, don't do anything inappropriate, kiddies. <laughs> um, in advance, we have, um, 
you know, the multiplayer advanced options, they're not keybinds, they're like, they're not when you hit a button this happens, they're kind of options, and as such they're not entirely game changing, but they are very useful. Now, automatically reload weapons when you're firing, uh, personally I have OCD, and I reload every time anyway, so I don't have that one checked, but if you find yourself frequently out of ammo when you really need it, maybe you should check it, see if it works for you. Um, draw view models, flip view models, and view model field of view. Um, all personal preference. I know that people don't like to see their view models. Uh, I prefer it because it lets me know when I can backstab, and uh, it also kind of connects me to the game a little bit more. Uh, flip view models, of course, you know, if for some reason you prefer to be left-handed, you know. Um, field of view, once again, aesthetic. Um, now, symbol disguise is interesting because it's kind of hard to explain, but it condenses your disguise menu from 1 to 9 to 1 to 3. And in the end, really, it just... You'll have to click an extra button in order to get the disguise you want, but, you know, it kind of compacts all your keylines. You don't have to reach to 5 to 9 in order to uh, get the dis disguises. Uh, Engineer, Sniper, and Spy are all very good disguises, and they're very hard to hit. So, if you're using a standard keyboard, I do recommend looking into Simple Disguise. It might, uh, you know, smoothen out your gameplay a little bit. Now, um... Display damage done as text over your target and play a hit sound every time you injure an enemy. Um, you know, it just kind of gets me a little bit more connected to the game. I can see when I hit somebody, I can hear when I hit somebody. You know, I prefer it. And uh, I think that is all for the keybinds. And now I'd like to cover the UI. Um, there are add ons in this game, they aren't nearly as important as they are in other games like WoW. And uh, I'm going to show you a side by side clip. It's the uh, same clip, but you know, with different uh, UIs. The uh, one on the left will be with add ons, the one on the right is default. Now, as you can see, there are some apparent uh, differences. For example, with add ons, the uh, health is a lot more noticeable, as is the cloak bar. And uh, you won't see it in this, but the um, ammo is a lot more noticeable too. Now, in the right side, it's, it's, you know, it's harder to see your health, there's some unneeded graphics to put disguise, you see your self-portrait for some reason, um, you know, it's all aesthetic stuff, I prefer it, you might not, but if you do like the way it looks, it is Community HUD, and there will be a link in the description. Now for the uh, gameplay. In this part of the guide, we'll be covering basic movement, which includes movement speeds of all the classes, situations in which the spy speed is reduced, and ways to cover distance efficiently and smartly. Here's a graph I made of each class's speed and the spy speed when he disguises as them. You don't have to memorize these exact numbers, but you should know the spy speed in relation to other classes. For example, the spy runs the same speed as the pyro, engineer, and sniper. He runs faster than the soldier, demo man, and heavy, but is slightly slower than the medic and a lot slower than the scout. When disguised, the spy will slow down to match class speed, but will not speed up. This affects optimal disguises, which we'll discuss in a later part of this guide. There are only two situations in which an undisguised spy will lose movement speed, backpedaling and crouching. When backpedaling, the spy loses 10% movement speed, but can shoot and, and escape at the same time. When crouching, the spy loses a whopping 66% movement speed, but gains mobility in the form of crouch jumping, which is performed by simply jumping and crouching in midair. It's important that every spy knows how to crouch jump, as it increases jump height and distance, allowing the spy to clear harder obstacles and, have, and move more efficiently by cutting corners. Take this rough picture I made, for example. The black lines represent walls, and the red lines represent the typical, inefficient way in which most classes move. The blue line represents the most efficient way to traverse this treacherous hallway, as they are hugging the wall as much as possible and traveling from one corner to the next. Keep in mind that hugging the wall allows the spy to move quicker and stay away from the main path, lowering the chances that he will get bumped into. Here's a side-by-side -side clip demonstrating efficiency. In the clip on the left, I am moving as most classes would. In the clip on the right, I am moving as a spy should. Notice that not only am I covering more distance, but I'm also staying off the main path, and so I'm less likely to get bumped into, and my cover is less likely to get blown. Notice that the clip on the right 
arrives at the destination before the one on the left. I'm going to show you another clip in which we put this efficiency to work. Uh, right now I'm following Bottles of Pyro, uh, who, if you remember, has the same movement speed as me, but through hugging walls and kind of predicting his movements and, you know, jumping over obstacles, uh, you can see that we're closing the distance a little bit here. And uh, it, we'll just keep doing it until he's ready for the backstab. Very good. Uh, this brings us to the conclusion of part one of this guide. Uh, if you liked this video or it helped you in any way, feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. However, I would very much appreciate it if you guys left comments on this video or on my channel with, uh, you know, questions, suggestions, uh, strange dreams you've recently had. Uh, in the description, I'll kind of outline what I'm planning to do with the remainder of this spy guide, which is probably to add another four or five parts. But if you guys are into other games as well, and you ask nicely, I'm all for putting out videos of League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Minecraft, you know, whatever. So, you know, thanks for watching, and, uh, I'll see you next week.